All right, welcome back to another Guild Wars. Apologies for my voice a little bit. I'm a little bit sick. Uh, today we're up against uh, horses. I'm just going to pretend I understand what that means. And looks like we're getting clobbered a little bit, so it looks like we have some work to do. Um, looks like my guild is focusing... I don't know why they're focusing this, because there's no fort, so... Shame on them, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack this side, I guess. Whatever. I mean, we're not going to bring a fort down at this point anyway. Uh, and the big part about this video is I'm going to debut ML Charlotte. So we're going to find out what she's all about. Um, hmm. Is this a good team for ML Charlotte? It does have Arbiter of Vildred. But the thing is, Arbiter of Vildred can actually kill ml charlotte <laughs> probably i don't want her to die in her first debut let's find something a little bit easier first um what can ml charlotte kill this one i kind of want to hit because it has an ml ken oh what about this one this is a perfect that first team is perfect to sermia actually but i'm gonna use ml charlotte just because, and we're going to find out if she can actually one-shot uh, dark heroes like she's supposed to. So what are we going to do here? I think we do need some healing output. Um, I could probably use aux slots here because they'll tunnel little Charlotte. But do I need some kind of Aureus to keep her up? Hmm, is Dark Corvus going to one-shot her? Nah, let, let's go man mode. You know what happens when I go man mode. I usually lose, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go man mode anyway. And second one... Oh, how fast is that Basar? Should we have a Basar race? If I lose the Basar race, I lose the game. Hmm... I could do something weird, like, uh... Should I bring a speed imprint? Shuri in front. And a Basar in the back to definitely outspeed. And then Sermia? That's a weird-ass team. I'm loving it. Let's try it. Alrighty, so, first team, moment of truth. Can ML Charlotte destroy an ML Ken? We're about to find out. Blip. She does extra damage against dark heroes. <laughs> uh, and I think the answer to that question is yes. That guy got absolutely clobbered. But the real test is, can she kill a Dark Corvus? So I need her... S3 backup. So we're going to wait a little bit. And this is uh, ML Charlotte's true debut. So let's see if she can also clap this Dark Corvus real quick. Oh my gosh. Putting some pain on this A-Momo. How many turns do we have for this Dark Corvus? Seven turns, so I think we could just clap this Aimomo first. Blair. Or should I try to play it safe and uh, finish DC first? Can I one shot DC? Hmm, I don't know. You know what? It is an ML Charlotte debut. We're going to try. And one clap, Dark Corvus. So her soul burn does give her an extra turn. So I can smash Dark Corvus and then S1 him right after and hope that that's enough. So blip. 5,400 on the first hit. 26,000. Blip. <laughs> so can ML Charlotte do damage? Yes. Yes, she can. She can do a lot of damage. Now, to note, she doesn't do as much as someone like Sermia, but that makes sense, right? Because if ML Charlotte did as much damage as Sermia, 
she'd be the most broken character in the game, right? I mean, she has a built-in Durandal adamant shield and a self-proof of valor. You can't make her as strong as Sermia, too. And she gets immunity every turn, so... Her multipliers are not, and her base stats are not as good as Sermia's, and that's perfectly fine. They really shouldn't be. But the point is, um, let me wait for it to be uh, ML Charlotte's turn again. I'm going to boost her up. My ML Charlotte right now is 16,000 life. Her stats aren't that great, but 16,000 life. She cannot do as much damage as Sermia. That would be Imba as hell. So let's see if she can one-shot this Amomo. Lay up. Can't one-shot Amomo, but with the Soul Burn, finishes her off. So ML Charlotte has a successful debut. Let's see what happens here. Can we go first? Yes, we can go first. Let's burn this and push him back. Oh, but they still might beat me. Oh god. Oh god. So Shuri is fire, so I really need um, him not to push my Sermia Cer and uh, Basar back. I mean, um, Shuri and Sermia back. There we go, miss. So now my Sermia should go next. I really just needed to kill the BBK. Um, yeah, why not? Let's just do this first. Boost up my Sermia. And there's no way in hell BBK survives this unless she has Moonlight Dream Blade, so... No crit. My Sermia is 97% crit. But it didn't matter. She still died. Oh, I didn't get miss on the Bissar. Hopefully he misses my Sermia. Wait, what? Didn't he just do that? Maybe I'm confused. Uh, let's finish off this Bissar. Let's just clap him. Bissar is down. Ooh. Take that back. Take the defense break back. No. Oh, this might kill my Bissar. No. Basar says good night, but this Caesarea has no real shot of surviving 1v2, so it's all good. Poke, poke, and Caesarea goes down, and we lock in our first win. ML Charlotte debut, success. All right, what do we have next? Hmm. The second team may be ML Charlettable. Hmm. Although Fighter Maya is going to be kind of scary with Oxalot. She can clap him pretty fast. First one is two Dark Heroes, Apoc Ravi, and Crow. Interesting. Hmm. Can I kill the Crow fast enough? The second team... I don't have a uh, freaking Basar anymore. That would be a super easy team with Basar. Let me see if there's something else. I don't want to lose ML Charlotte. This will be annoying because of Ruel. Although I could go some kind of um, ML Ken plus Charlotte comp. Looks like this guy has a lot of successful defenses, though. Hmm. What about this thing? Now, the second one will be annoying, though, now that I lost Bassar. Yeah. Unless I want a mirror match. Do I want to troll this guy and mirror match the second one? I 
and see who has the stronger combo. It's probably him because I don't have drink, but uh, this can potentially work. This is an ML Charlotte video anyway. I don't really care about the others, I guess. And uh, I do need ox lots. I do. I need all of this. All right, let's try it. Let's pick on some ML Kens with Charlotte. As long as Dizzy doesn't do some crazy multi-stun stuff on me. So let's boost up Charlotte again. Let's just burn for funsies. So I could give her immunity right after. Can we kill him in one hit? Yes, we can. And let's get immunity up on Charlotte. Here we go, Dizzy does her thing, so ML Charlotte certainly hits hard. And remember, it's not just her multipliers, it's that her S3 ignores 50% defense, a lot like uh, Sermia's, so she's basically a light Sermia with a better kit and a lot less damage. It's significantly lower than Sermia's total damage output, but against Dark Heroes, because it does a bonus against Dark Hero units, um, it's not as obvious. The damage difference becomes a lot more kind of obvious once you start attacking people who are blue or something. So I'm going to just keep cycling ML Charlotte. And you'll see, it's only a three-turn cooldown, so she gets to spam it. Oh, I didn't crit. Would have killed her for sure if it crit. But it's all good. It's all good. It's going to immunity... Um, a Momo in case there's some funny stun business. This A Momo is not on Rod, so her healing output's kind of garbage. Yeah, I don't need to boost her here, whatever. Let's get a immunity up. So right now my Charlotte is on Lifesteal. The only reason for that is because um, it was the best gear I had left. <laughs> uh, I don't really think Lifesteal is the best. Actually, no, she's on Destruction now. I initially had her on Lifesteal. I put her on 88. So Destruction makes sense for her, I think. You can also put her on Attack. You can put her on Counter. And honestly, I think you could also put her on Speed. Um, because her S3 cooldown so low, she might be able to just cycle repeatedly and uh, use her S3 to sustain herself on something like defense. So I think speed is actually a viable build for her. Um, but I'm on destruction right now because I think I used most of that 78 gear that came out in that side story thing. Alright, am I going to have enough souls to do the double soon? It's kind of what I want. Let's just immunity, ox lot. So there's pretty much no way I'm going to lose this. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll just silence here. Blip, 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 blip. Resistance. Whap. All right, let's burn this. Crit this time. There we go. 16,000, and we'll do a little bit of that. We'll boost up ML Charlotte again. So I think she pairs very, very well with Oxlots. And that's the thing, with the Soul Burn and Oxlots, next turn she's up, she has it again already. So we'll do this. We'll just keep attacking her at this point. Boost her up again. And let's slap her again. Blair might not kill her. I might need to wait. Oh, no, it killed her. <laughs> Sorry, I, I should have had more faith in you. So even against non-dark units, it does do an acceptable amount of damage. So here we go. Our nice little mirror match. I would have Basar cleaved this, except uh, my Basar is dead. So it's actually good that their FCC went first. Alright. Exorcist Tonfa Charles. 
interesting. So no Elbrus. I don't have to worry about Elbrus counters. Ooh, I got decreased defense on them. Please don't get it on me back. Ooh, gets it on my C side. Now let's put up our own attack buff, and I don't have to worry about Elbrus procs, apparently. Oh, they're squishy. They're dead. They're super dead. Blip, 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 blip. Alright, so a mirror match worked out fine. I don't know why the hell you wouldn't put Charles on Elbrus. That was a foolish mistake, and he'll pay for it by dying. Alright, so that's our second win. Now, what else can we do with ML Charlotte? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this first team was scary because I don't know if my Oxlots can survive the Arbiter. Hmm. Hmm. The second team, I'll just have faith in that. Um, fuck it. Let's see if ML Charlotte Shield can tank these two dark units long enough. So the very first thing we're going to do is pump up ML Charlotte. And we're going to clap this Arbiter Vildred. Blip. Oh, damn. Hit him hard. 26,000. And then we're going to clap him again. Oh, oh, and he died. <laughs> Holy shit. I did not expect that. Um, usually... She does not kill Arbiter Vildreds in one shot with her S1. It's not even fully molded. I'll go over my ML Charlotte stats in a little bit, but uh, that was surprising. <laughs> I'm digging ML Charlotte, man. Like, she is good. She is solid. Holy crap. Um, all right. And I'm going to do a full review video of ML Charlotte um, so that... People only interested in her don't have to see the whole spiel about all my other Guild Wars fights. I'll upload both videos, though. And uh, I'll kind of cover everything there is to know about her. All right, I need to heal up ML Charlotte, though. So as you can see, I mean, even with her passive, she's not unkillable. Don't make the mistake of thinking she's unkillable. She still dies pretty easily to something like an Arbiter Vildred. Uh, Alexa basket counter or something. She's gonna get squished. Trust me. Alright, let's uh, see how much damage this does to Apoc Ravi. I don't think it's gonna kill her. I might need the soul burn for that. Oh, no, I didn't need to. <laughs> Every time I think she's not gonna kill something, she just kills it. Jesus Christ. Alright. Now I don't need to heal at all. I'm just gonna keep whapping away at the same Omo. I wasn't even paying attention to her. I don't know what artifact she's on. Is she on Rod? Let's see, I'll pay attention this time. No, she's on Mags too. This guild likes using their aim almost on Mags, I guess. Which is fine. Mags is an excellent artifact, but it means you can't really heal all that well. But you do turn cycle very fast. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm going to wait until Oxlots has his S2 again so that I can have attack buff on both Charlotte's S3 and S1. That'll guarantee you the kill. Oh, that's fine. You sneaky little brat. Uh, she's going to heal herself, so that's fine. All right, here we go. Uh, she's not even going to survive the first one. Unless I don't crit. Blip. Blip, 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 blip. And she's dead. Uh, what do, oh, that's not the last match. What is this? Oh, it's the mirror thing again. Oh, no. Damn. Hmm. What should I do here? I don't want to bother shielding, it's just going to come off from FCC, so... Ah! Charles, you bastard. Stop that. So I did get the Provoke on Luna. She does a lot of damage, so I don't want her on my damage dealers. 
This is good though, because the Elber's proc came, I got to remove this FCC shield immediately. And I got decreased defense, so I'm gonna go ahead and put up attack buff. That's key. Hopefully no Elber's proc again. No Elber's proc this time. Seaside with her attack buff does her thing. Miss. No Elbrus though. Can I counter Elbrus Charles? No Elbrus on my side either. The Elbruses are asleep today. But now I can put up my own shield. Blip, 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 blip. Alright, I think I could just uh, one shot Charles here with this. Blip, 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 blip. Yep, old man goes down. And this FCC is completely screwed. There's nothing she could do. She won't even get her barrier up next turn. And whap! And there we go. A nice 3 0 Guild Wars carried by ML Charlotte. Now, inevitably, you guys are going to be asking me what gear my ML Charlotte has. And honestly, I'm not that happy with her gear. But uh, I'll wait till the next free unequip event and I'll see what I can do. But I'm going to show it to you real quick just so you can see what that damage is coming out of. So she is on destruction right now, if I remember correctly. If it loads. So she doesn't even have 3,000 attack. So she has 2,900 attack. 83% crit only, which is why I have her on this Hell Cutter, because um, it increases her crit chance to get that crit up, and it increases her attack. And her crit damage is pretty damn good. It's 298, so her crit damage is pretty solid. Uh, her health is decent, 16,000. Her defense is way too low. I really want to bump this up to like 1,200, because I'm noticing that I tried a little bit in Arena, when you kill Arbiter, and normally you can't kill him again with the S1, he comes back, and if you get something like a Greater Lexaproc with 900 defense, you're getting your ass blown up. So uh, I need to get this defense up. Ideally, I think ideal stats are maybe like 3,000, 3,500 attack, 1,200 defense, maybe 14 to 15k life, because you have some buffer because of her passive. Uh, you'll want as much crit as you can feasibly get. And I think 250, 260 crit damage would be enough to make some sacrifice to get those other stats beefed up. But anyways, that's my Guild Wars video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see my full ML Charlotte review video, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. See you later, guys, and good luck on your Guild Wars.